hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for the regulars but for those who haven't subscribed please do subscribe turn on the notification bell like and don't forget to leave a comment down at the comment section yeah so i'll go straight ahead <laughs> sorry i know some of you are wondering why i'm not seated i was actually trying to position the camera and the lighting and all that so it's quite a hassle so i decided let me just stand for you guys <laughs> yes so let me answer my dms that i've been getting recently and that is regarding my hair so people please don't shoot me don't shoot me please i still do have my dreadlocks on whatever i've done currently as you can see i just braided them and i'm gonna be having this style for the next uh two two and a half to three weeks a maximum of three weeks because i don't want to have the braids for a longer period of time to avoid thinning of my hair yes so worry not team empress we're still on <laughs> we still do have the dreadlocks yes yeah so straight ahead to today's topic uh-huh are you in somalia for business work purposes or any other agenda and you are having difficulties in communicating are you having language barrier with the local people there worry not i got you i got you i got you and you got me and that's all that i need when i wake in the morning so all i loving 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 <laughs> yeah yes i got you i got you covered in terms of somali language yes so I'm gonna be teaching you basic Somali language and just to brief you about this book over here. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I got this as a gift. Immediately I landed in Somalia. This is the second person I met. <laughs> and that was the human resource manager of Favori LLC by then. So Kevin, wherever you are, if you're listening to this, thank you so much. You're a big deal. <laughs> You're such a big deal. Yeah, thank you so much. This has been so helpful to me. It's actually English to Somali translation. It really helps Somali people who want to understand English and vice versa. So without further ado, let's get started. Suba wanaksan to mean good morning. Like suba wanaksan. Suba wanaksan. And then you respond wanaksan or one. Wanaksan or one. And then there's, uh, if it's 12 p.m., you say Duhur Wanaksan. Just say Maswahili, Aduhuri. So for them, they say Duhur Wanaksan. And then the response is just the same. Some few hours after 12 p.m., that is around 1 or 2, you can say Galab Wanaksan. Galab Wanaksan. Response, Wanaksan or one. And then in the evening, you say Habin Wanaksan. Habin Wanaksan. And then you, the response is still the same one accent one. Have you accent one accent one? So it's basically swa one accent, duhur one accent, galab one accent, and have you one accent? Uh, and then there is a bio and a boy. So a bio is actually while referring to a lady, female gender that is, and a boy it's when you are referring to um, a guy, a man, a man that is male so you'll hear most of the time the somali people saying abo that is the short form of a boy abo kale kale abo you know abayo setai mafiantai just that is saying hi setai alhamdulillah mashallah like hi i'm good i'm good thank you uh mafiantai it's just the same as saying hello how are you you know same thing. I'm good. Wafiana, hi. Wafiana, hi. And then there's Iskawaran <laughs> to mean how are you? You respond, Wafiana, hi. Most of them they just say, Wafiana, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah, I'm doing well, thank you, sister. You know? And then there's Haldai, just the same as Swahili, Hali, like Haliako, how's, you, how's your Hali, how's your situation? So they say, Hal dakawaran, hal dakawaran. 
to mean how is your situation and you know my situation is good i'm doing good my situation is fian fian to mean good <laughs> so some other terminologies that you need to get accustomed to while being around the somali people is uh <laughs> something like when you hear somali guys say bobsi Bobsi, Bobsi, Abayo, Bobsi, Abo, Bobsi. This is to mean quickly. Like, make it quick. Hurry up. Hurry. In Swahili, we say Haraka, Harakisha. Harakisha. For all who've heard this saying in Swahili, it goes Haraka, Haraka, Haina, Baraka. To mean Hari, Hari has got no blessing. Yes. And the opposite of it being Tartib. So this is actually uh, similar to Swahili at the same time Arabic language. So tartib in Swahili we say taratibu, taratibu. Yes, and on that note I came to realize that we've got some similarities as Swahili speakers and the Somali people. Yes, and I'll just briefly tell you a few of the terms that are similar to Swahili, something like lakin to mean lakini. Ama, which is still ama in Swahili language, to mean or. So you can either buy this or that. You can either get this product or that. And in Somali language, you say ama. And something else is uh, sokor. Sokor, just to let you know, the Somali people love sokor so much. Sokor is sugar. And in Swahili language, we say sukari. I sukari. I sugar sukari. Sukari. Sugar sukari. For those who've heard that song. Yeah. So, Somali people love sweet things. I haven't met any Somali guy who doesn't love sweet stuff. Maybe, maybe I'll meet one in future. But so far, for the ones that I know, they so much love sweet things, sugary stuff, ex excess sugar, like too much sugar in the in their coffee, tea, and all that. Yeah, and that's them, which is nice also, <laughs> but not good for your health. Yeah. So where were we? Dr. There's also there's also a term that goes dr to mean ready and in swahili we say tayari so when you hear somali person say dear nia this person is actually asking you is it ready and all you need to answer is ha to mean yes or maya to mean no so when you hear someone say maya maya it's no it's not ready but if it's ready they say ha dear why so Dear Nia, ha, dear why, ho, ho to mean, <laughs> ho to mean, here, take it, like, let me use this, I've got a pen over here, so, uh, you know, you can use a pen or maybe something to drink, like, maybe if it's coffee or tea, someone can say, Shades, Shades, dear Nia, like, is the mixed milk tea, like, white tea, is the tea ready? And then all you need to say is ha dear why ho here take it yeah your tea is ready here take it you can enjoy it yes so those are the common words that i find them similar to swahili language which is which makes the dialect extremely interesting to me <laughs> yes and then something else i'm just trying to remember uh something yes something else that you need to know is uh appreciating while given any well while given any service you need to appreciate the people so you should say wama santai or mahatsani so wama santai means thank you same thing as mahatsani it's one and the same thing mahatsani or wama santai and then the person can say sodo sodo to mean welcome thank you welcome wama santai sodo Mahatsani Tabayo Sodo, welcome. Yes. And then to express some good loving to someone, you say, Wakujala, hi. Wankujala, hi. Wakujala. And then the person will respond, Anakadra. So, Wakujala to mean I love you. Anakadra, like, I love you too. I love you too. 
So Anna is the short form of Aniga. Aniga to mean me, like I, Aniga. Short form Anna. And then Adiga, you. So Aniga, me, Adiga, you. Wakujala, Anna Kadra to me aniga kadara so instead of saying it you know instead of saying it in that long way you just shorten it ana kadra and it makes the language sound so nice so good yes and then another thing you need to know is wake up wake up from your sleep you say soka abaya soka <laughs> soka 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 and then soba to mean come soba come ba go ba go <laughs> soba soka and ba so soka wake up soba come ba go and then when you hear somali person say kale this person actually needs your attention you need to you know you need to if the person is direct opposite to you and says kale you can walk to him and you know listen to whatever the person has to say so when someone says kale firi like firi look firi firi look at me firi and then degai so give me your ear like degai so firi degai so look listen to me listen to what i have to say yes so these are the basics these are actually the things you really need to know so that when someone talks or when just someone utter, utter, utters them you you're familiar to them yeah this is the least you actually need to know when you visit somali for the first time and when you hear someone say uh maga <laughs> maga actually means what's your name and then you respond to it maga iguwa you can say magaiwa husna magaiwa aisha magaiwa jamila magaiwa chelsea you know my name is chelsea magaiwa chelsea yes and then what else what else have i left behind so i think that is it for today that's it for today uh, let's catch up in the next episode so whatever you guys have learned today is actually the basics of Somali language. At least you familiarize with uh, the dialect a little bit. So see you in the next episode. We're gonna expound. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna learn more about the language. And hope it's been interesting. Hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> I've actually enjoyed it. I like teaching people because I get to learn more. Yes. So see you in the next video and on that note I'm having a dinner on my sweet and sexy dinner. <laughs> Some people call it dera here and I heard that people calling it dinner. So I don't know. Dira, dera, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been amazing having you guys. See you. Goodbye.